guys so in this particular lecture we are going to discuss about types of attacks which are present in network security so let's discuss as you can see in first type here the common person's view when we talk about attack what are the common person's view what type of attacks are there so when we talk about normally there are first is criminal type of attack if we talk about non technical person so if uh, we we don't have knowledge of this particular subject then if someone talks about types of attack then which type of attack can uh, which type of attack uh, we can describe that is what written here so criminal attacks are the simplest to understand the sole attack is uh, aim of attack is to maximize uh, financial gain by attacking computer systems so i just i'm just doing something for money that's it that is what we mean by criminal attack where and uh, which type of persons basically involved here hackers as we know there are different types of hackers white uh, white hat hackers black hat gray hat so basically uh, black uh, black hat hackers they are basically doing this for money purely for money nothing else then publicity attack just to prove my point or just to prove my identity what i'm doing i'm attacking on some systems so that is what we mean by publicity attack the attack occurs because attacks wants to see their names appear on television news just for marketing purpose just for publicity nothing else then next type of attack is legal attack so as you can see legal attack there are different parts here this form of attack is quite novel novel means something new which is not known till now in public domain and unique as well so here the attacker tries to make the judge or a jury doubtful about the security of a computer now just to prove my point that security which is provided by whatsapp or facebook is not up to the mark what i'll uh, what i'll do in front of many people i'll try to hack those system or i'll try to penetrate in the security the attacker attacks the computer system and the attacked party says a bank or an organization manager to take attacker to the court so if uh, if a party knows uh, who attacked their bank account then they can officially go to court and file a case against them while the case is being fought the attacker tries to convince the judge and the jury that there is inherent weaknesses in a computer system and that she has done nothing wrongful so it might possible just because of some not purposefully some 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 attack might happen unintentionally and those unintentional type of attack might be lead to legal attacks or they might be punished for that reason so if i found some software over an internet i i have no idea about that particular software from where uh, the from the place where i have downloaded that software at that place it is written there we can trace someone's mobile phone or we can trace some uh, calls with the help of this software so i don't have any idea about how that software work what result it going to create just for just for some xyz reason i tried it now i don't have enough knowledge i tried it it was just unintentional idea or unintentional way and that might leads to legal procedure because of that i hope this particular point is clear now let's discuss second type that is a technical view against this type of attack so as you can see when we talk about technical view it is again divided in sub part one is theoretical concept and as we know the attacks further grouped in two types one is active attack one is passive attack active attack means someone actually hack your computer system and modified or uh, stolen your data is stolen and passive attack means someone just monitors your activity and does nothing against your data or that communication that is passive attack just watching or just listening your communication that's it active attack means attacker actively participate within or in between a communication or while you are sending some data that is what we mean by active attack 
so let's start discussing first is what are the technical views again attack uh, against attack one is theoretical concepts so what are theoretical concepts let's discuss it so first is first theoretical concept is interception what we mean by interception it has been discussed in context of confidentiality as we know someone tries to intercept between or within our communication it means that an unauthorized party has gained access to resources the party can be a person program or computer based system example of interceptions are copying of data or program and listening to network traffic i hope this particular point is clear it is very simple next is fabrication means we are going to fabricate some way through which we can listen someone's data or request it has been discussed in context of authentication this involves creation of illegal object or a computer system for example attacker may add fake record to database that is what we mean by fabrication adding or modifying whatever data we have in database or stolen those database the next is modification so here we are actually going to modify bank account details or some other detail or some message which is sent by me to some uh, suppose person a send some message to person b in between person c attack that communication or that message and he just modified the message and at the end both person or both the party sender or receiver both are unknown about this type of attack so the actual message what they want to communicate that communication was interrupted so that is what we mean by modifying modifying the actual message or actual records it has been discussed in context of integrity means purity of a data should be maintained here the attacker may mo may modify the values in a database then next part is interruption interruption means blocking or disrupting or just uh, disconnecting communication it has been discussed in the context of availability so what i'm going to do i'm just going to interrupt one person's communication with their server that is what we mean by interruption the resource become unavailable low or lost or unusable for example interruption are causing problem to hardware devices erasing program data or operating system components i hope this particular point is clear now let's discuss broadly as we discussed here in this particular part that the attacks are further grouped in two types so let's discuss now what are the types of attack so one is passive attack where a passive attack do not involve any modification to the content of original message so we are not going to modify anything we are just going to analyze or monitor uh, that particular traffic that's it that is what we mean by passive attack so it is also called as eavesdropping or monitoring of data transmission eavesdropping means suppose i am typing some password and some person over my shoulder tries to look what password i am typing that is what we mean by eavesdropping that is without my knowledge that person just checking what i am doing right now from behind me or over my shoulder that is what we mean by eavesdropping so without my knowledge someone actually checking all the details or all my activities whatever i am performing online then comes active attack in active attack the content of original message are modified in some or the other way active attack are based on modification of original message in any xyz way so first is masquerade attack that means one is called as ip spoofing where actually i'm going to spoof or i'm going to use some other person's ip so that means mask so i'm going to use some other person's ip so if i send a message from one xyz ip address to some other ip address that means that that person will think like okay this message is coming from some known ip address but it is not coming from known ip address the cover is only showing known ip address but it is actually coming from a known ip address so that is what we mean by masquerade that means attacker uses some other person's mask while communicating with some other person i hope this particular point is clear next is modification here we are going to modify so if i am sending uh, suppose person a sends uh, data to person b 
now when this both parties are communicating with each other in between one at, uh, attacker comes so now he just took the connection or he took the control of that communication and now whatever data person a tries to send to person b it it is going through person c so if person a sends person to data b uh, person b instead of going directly to person b that go, data first goes to person c now person c modifies that data and in turn then sends it to person b so here here both party per a and b both things like they are communicating with each other but actually they are communicating with person b and whatever person b are sending and receiving that is only the actual message so both party are totally not aware about what data is actually exchanged in their communication so as you can see reply so here attacker is going to reply in between our communication and next is alteration of our messages then comes denial of service or dos attack so as you can see let's discuss first attacker make an attempt to prevent legitimate user for accessing some services which they are eligible for for instance unauthorized user might send too many login requests to a server using random user id in quick session so as to flood the network and deny other legitimate user to use the network facility so basically if i if i want to block someone's server or if i want to create huge traffic then what i'm going to do i'm going to send n number of requests thousands and thousands of requests at the same time to that server and now server becomes too busy handling all those information at the same point of time and hence when some genuine person tries to uh, demands for a service from a server server is actually too much busy or server is hanged or server is basically we can say server is blocked with all those dummy request and hence this type of attack is called as dos attack so as we know many a time it happens like uh, uh, when we try to access result of 10th or 12th board board exams so many time it happens that many user tries to access their result or that means many requests goes to server at same point of time and at the end what happens server gets stuck between those thousand and lakhs of requests and hence a result the reply time reply time goes down and down and down so performance of server goes very poor so that is what we mean by dos attack where attacker sends thousands and thousands of dummy request to server flooding of request as you can see here now in theoretical concept as we discuss first in theoretical concept we discuss as you can as you can see a technical view then we have theoretical concept now let's discuss second part here in theoretical concept we have practical part as well so theoretical part we already discussed now let, uh, let's discuss about practical part so in practical part it is again subdivided in application level and network level attack application level means simply whatever application we are using someone is going to attack on those application that's it nothing more so let's discuss the attacker happens at uh, this attack happens on application level in sense that attacker attempts to access modify or prevent access to information of a particular application for example whatsapp or facebook or any other type for example these are trying to obtain someone's credit card information on internet or changing content of message or changing amount of transaction i hope this particular point is clear and when we talk about second type of attack that is network level attack so this attack generally aims at reducing the capability of a network by number of possible means so one type is dos attack as well where i'm going to flood the network by thousands and thousands of dummy requests so this attack generally makes an attempt to either slow down or completely bring to hold that particular network now one thing what we need to note here note that automatically this particular part can lead to application level attack as well because once someone is able to gain access to network he or she can easily get access to sensitive information which is present on different applications as well so network attack in turn can lead to application level attack as well i hope this particular point is clear now 
in this next lecture we are going to start discussing about cryptography techniques remember from here our main network security subject starts cryptography encryption decryption what are the algorithms how we can encrypt something how we can decrypt something so it is very important so in next lecture we'll discuss in detail about this as well as different algorithms which are present here that also we are going to discuss so stay tuned have a nice day bye bye